Hey guys, this is April at Georgia Mom Plans. I have a plan with me video for you today, and this is going to be a pre-plan in my Plum Paper Vertical Priorities Planner. This is my functional everyday planner. I check into this all day long, and this is going to be my third week in this planner, and I am absolutely loving it. So I wanted to show y'all how I set it up and how I look um, forward for the upcoming week. So let's turn to this week which is going to be the week of December 12th through the 18th. I do have these post-it notes here. If you watched my setup video I talked through these um, so I will have that linked here in the cards if you want to go see how I set up this planner and how I kind of thought through how I want it set up. So these are just reminders for me of how I want my week set up and what I want to include until I'm kind of in the rhythm and, you know, used to setting it up every week. So um, also I do have this um, pad here from uh, Moxie Life, which is a weekly overview. I write down all of my appointments and things going on in the week. So I have that to reference as I'm um, setting everything up. And this week I am using a leftover kit from the Crafty Banana. This is her Gilmore Winter Collection. I love all of her Gilmore kits and so excited to use this. I am a little sad because I have the date covers left and I'm kind of wondering if I'm going to use them. I haven't used date covers yet in this um, planner, but we shall see. I may use that. So I've got date covers, some deco on a full box, some headers and little things some more deco and some half boxes and then um, icons some labels checklists which I do will use a few of those on the weekend and some flags I do want to pull some washi that matches and I think I have some pretty winter washi that will be a good match so I have this Simply Gilded Washi. It's a light blue to white. It reminds me a lot of like snow. I think it'd be good for this winter kit. So I pulled this to use. And then I'm also going to pull some matching Tombows. All right, so I've got this Tombow here, which is 451, a nice light blue. And then I've got this highlighter. Um, these are my Rytec uh, retractable highlighters in this gray. So I thought that will pair nicely. So. When I am setting up my week, um, I first always like to do my bottom washi. It's really more of habit than anything else. So I'm going to get this down at the bottom. And the bottom washi really is just pure decoration. No other um, function really. It's just fun to add. And I'm just in the habit of um, always having it at the bottom. I don't put any on... Um, Sunday here because it's already limited space for the weekend so I don't want to take it up with washi because I do tend to have some to do's on the weekend so I got my washi down here and then I'm going to just do blue there at the top and then blue over my priorities headers here there we go. And then I'm also going to highlight the week here in the calendar. And then I'm going to do my gray over my to do today headers. Just to add a little color. I really like so far in December, this color of the month has been working out nicely for me. All right, so now I'm gonna put some deco up here. And luckily, one, the Crafty Banana has amazing deco. And two, I have a lot to work with. So I think, I was trying to see if I had any like kind of quotes. Not really. I think I'm going to put, I think that is supposed to be Dean. And then, oh my gosh, I cannot remember her name. But we're going to put them up there. And some books. This little no cell phone sign from... Luke's and then what do I have over here let's do a little sweater umbrella I just like to kind of layer everything if I ever have like um, a quote I'll put it here in the middle but since I just have lots of deco I'm just gonna put it all around here all right so I don't have um, 
a checklist box or like a weekly box left over. So I think I'm going to pull one from my collection. I've been keeping up with, um, I've actually done two different things. This week I did a weekly cleaning list, which I kind of like that. I might pull another weekly cleaning list. Um, the week before I was trying to keep up with my water. I am awful about drinking water. So I definitely need to make that a resolution for the new year. But I think I'm just going to do another weekly cleaning list. Oh, this blue would be pretty. These are from Nikki Plus 3, and I really like them. It also allows me not to put as many things in, like, my weekly checklist because I've got them right up at the top. All right. So we'll do a cleaning tracker at the top, and I do have to trim a smidge off the top and the bottom of this tracker to fit, which is fine. And then I have to decide if I am going to do date covers. This is a dated planner, so I don't need the date covers, but I have them. So <clears throat> let's see if I think it's going to look too crowded or if I will like it. I don't want to center it if I am going to do them. Right there, it doesn't look too bad. I think I like that right across there. I will have to pull some date dots. But Thursday is going to be the question. Is this going to look too much? It is going to cover up the last um, item on the cleaning checklist, which is organize which honestly, that one doesn't ever get checked off, so that's okay. Um, so I think I'm gonna do them. Since I have them and they're pretty, might as well use them. Sunday might be a little tight as well. It'll just cover up the last, a bit of the last line there on Saturday, but again, that is okay. I think that is cute. I don't know if I'll, if, if I have a kit with date covers, I may use them, um, but I definitely don't need them since this is a dated planner. All right. There we go. And then I'll, I need to pull some date dots since I'm using those. And then I do have one full box, so I want to use it. It's such a cute box. It says, you like coffee? Only with my oxygen. So, looking at my schedule for the week, I actually have a pretty packed schedule. Other than, I think I'm going to do it on Tuesday. I'm going to leave one line at the bottom for my gratitude and then put that there on Tuesday. That's my least busy day. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle in these last little pieces of deco throughout the week as I go. So I do think I'm gonna put these over on this sheet. So I've got all of the deco right here. It's just five little pieces. It's not a lot, but at least I'll have it all in one sheet and emptied out one sheet. So. For Saturday and Sunday, I want to put checklists there. I really like having a checklist on the weekend, um, and I like having a four-part checklist. So I'm going to use, I've got my um, stencer, stencil ruler from Moxie Life, and then my slice tool. I'm just going to cut two of those checklists down for Saturday and Sunday. And let's see if these line up. Not, not perfectly, but it'll be okay. Sometimes they line up with the lines, which is really nice. Okay. 
So that is everything for like the base. So now let's go day to day. Starting on Monday, I have, we are having our work Christmas lunch. So I think I'm gonna do a flag for that. It's gonna take up a good portion of my um, afternoon and then I have a doctor's appointment I'm gonna do a label and I do have a few icons and I have the stethoscope icon so I'm gonna do that here actually I think I'm gonna move this label down a smidge and I'm gonna do a little thing because um, I want to do it's the Christmas secret Santa and then we're also having lunch. I'm gonna do, since I have these little things, do that there and then do the label. And um, I just realized I forgot during my base, I forgot to show y'all how I like to do my gratitude every day. So again, I've got my Moxie Life um, stencil here and I'm gonna use my gray. Well, actually, I think I wanna use yeah, let's do it gray. Um, no, the Tombow works better in the stencil. I've tried to use the highlighter in the stencil, but the tip is really firm, and so it doesn't work great. So that's how the Tombow works really well in the stencil. All right, so I just put a little heart at the bottom of every day so I can put um, gratitude I actually um, took this idea from Taylor of Tattoo Teacher Plans, and I just think it's a nice little thing to think about every day. So I'm going to do that every day of the week. I could definitely draw little hearts, but since I have, and on Thursday I have to because of the coil, but since I have this stencil, nice to use it. So now back to my day-to-day -day plans. I think that was everything. Oh, it's my cousin's birthday on Monday as well. Let's see. I think I'm going to do this heart little thing here for his birthday. Um, ideally, I would put that at the top, but it will be okay. Um, moving on to Tuesday, I have three work calls. So let's see. Have these half boxes here. Do I have room? I do. So I'm going to do a half box there for all of my calls that day. That completely fills up Tuesday. And then Wednesday I have three calls and my son has a concert. They're doing um, like a Christmas concert and letting the parents join via Zoom, and I'm so excited. My son's class is doing Jingle Bells, which is going to be adorable. So I'm gonna do a little thing there for that. All right, and then Thursday I have three meetings. Like I said, this is a pretty packed week work-wise. That is crooked. Then Friday, I have another three. Goodness. And then my son has his Christmas party. All right, then on Saturday, I put this icon here for planning out next week. I tried to do that every um, Saturday. And then also do some filming there. Um, one thing on Friday, my son has his Christmas party at school. So I'm going to do... I'm bringing cookies for it, so I wonder, I think I might just put a piece of deco. Let's do this um, coffee cup here. That'll be cute. And then um, I'm trying to plan a girl's night with one of my girlfriends, so I think I'm going to pull this little martini here and maybe this label. I go ahead and put it down and hope 
that pans out for a girl's night on Thursday. So that is it. I do um, grocery pickup on Sunday, so let's put something there. Grocery pickup. And I think that is all of my current plans for the week. I do um, fill in my priorities and my daily to-dos, um, and then anything else that comes up throughout the week. And then the rest of the space, I will um, put in You know, my last few bits of deco and just fill in as I go. Um, using these leftover kits have been perfect. Um, I do have some journaling kits in my lineup for 2023, which I'm looking forward to. If there's ever a day where I don't have anything else going on, I'll either use some of the deco or pull in the skinny washi just to have it throughout the week as well and fill in the white space. Um, this is a completed spread from this week, just so you can see it does get pretty full. Um, but I just, I love this planner. It's so pretty and I've loved every week I've planned. I will have all of these shops linked below that I mentioned and that I used, um, as well as any discount codes that I have. If you are not already, go follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Georgia Mom Plans and I do post pictures throughout the week of my spread. And if you are not already, please subscribe to my channel. I do try and upload videos for you every single week um, with different planner related content, whether it be hauls, plan with me's, planner setups, all of those types of things. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know what planner you are using and what winter kits you are using in your planner. I'd love to hear all about it. And I really appreciate you watching. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.